traveled in and I'm gonna share with you the fragrance that I wore. I was getting on the plane and I was trying to be cognizant or thinking of others and I'm like, girl, what fragrance are you gonna wear? That lighting is horrible. Actually, it's natural lighting. But anyways, I was like, what fragrance? I need some lip gloss, hold on a second. I wanted to wear something that wasn't gonna be in your face, but at the same time, I was gonna be able to smell myself because I always douse it all over this car, uh, scarf. I always travel with a scarf because, you know, in the event that I need to just and get a whiff of my own self because sometimes the people sit next to you don't always smell the best. So, I mixed two fragrances today. One, oh my God, believe it or not, I can still smell it and the other one never showed up. I'll tell you what it is. Hold on a second. I just have to put some lip gloss on. My lips have been so dry. That means I'm dehydrated. I need to drink some water. You guys know that's a telltale sign, right? Whenever your lips are like really, really dry, nine times out of ten you need some um, water <laughs> and you need some chapstick. <laughs> Some lip gloss. You guys, these are everything. I picked this up during the Nordstrom's anniversary sale. This is the Lip Glow Cover Girl, I don't know, Balm. It's really good. I love it. It's just a nice little nudie, nudie color. It's actually not even nudie, nudie. It's kind of clear. And then I love this one too. It's so extra. It just says Dior. You know, she loves anything. Dior, Dior. Oh my gosh. Favorite song ever. Not really, but really. And then I just, how much gloss do you need? One thing about me is my lips are always going to be shiny. Just what it is and I'm always going to bed with a greasy face okay because I always like to go to bed with a good moisturizer on so anyways what was I saying so I put on two fragrances you guys I put on and throughout this video I'm going to be sharing a ton of fragrances with you because I actually went to Louis Vuitton the other day shout out to you what's up Wyatt and he shared with me two new fragrances that they are coming out with and gave me samples of them so I'm gonna test them out and wear them and see how they perform and everything like that so stay tuned during this video I'll be sharing that with you and then some other fragrances just stay tuned I can't remember they're all in my bag so what I wore in was Paris no I wore in Burberry London Burberry her London dream could not smell it well I smell it down my shirt but I couldn't smell it on the plane I couldn't get a smell of it when I got in the car with my guy he didn't say anything so I really couldn't smell it and then um as far as the second fragrance that I wore I wore what did I wear Oh, 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 the one I cannot get enough of. If you guys watched that video a couple of videos back, I wore a uh, Perry, Mon Perry. You guys, I am in love with that fragrance now. It is so good. It's so pretty. I absolutely love it. I oversprayed it from, let's see, from July up no from the end of june up until now i have made the biggest dent in that fragrance it is so so good i absolutely love it it was perfect for the plane ride it stayed it showed up it performed i know i i have to eat crow a little bit because now i'm really loving it you just needed to spray a i mean not just heavy i mean heavy 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 so i sprayed down my shirt i sprayed you know the typical sprays i sprayed my scarf i sprayed my blouse i sprayed a little bit in the back of the hair why in the world um I sprayed a little bit in the back of the hair. You know what I mean? So it felt, I mean, it smelled really good. So you guys, that's like a forever now. I love that fragrance and it's just so pretty. So I did wear that and um, it was really good. It was just really good. It was very nice. It was very inviting. The weather here is kind of dreary. What is, is that what it's called? Gloomy? Gloomy. It's gloomy here. It's dreary. It's not my kind of weather. I'm a sunshine kind of girl. I love sunshine, blue skies, palm trees. That's just my vibe. It's definitely, let's go and get a Starbucks. Let's cuddle up by a fireplace. Let's get a cozy blanket. Maybe let's get a bottle of red wine. Okay? And let's chill. That's what this place is giving me. I'm in Seattle. So, um, yeah, that's the vibe here. We're going to go out and explore it tomorrow and see some different things. My guy has dinner reservations for us somewhere, which I have no idea because I've never been there before. And I think we're going to go and visit Pike Place. Don't worry. I'm bringing you with me. It will be my first time down here um, at Pike Place. I've traveled through Seattle, but I've never really come and hung out in Seattle. So we'll see what that's like. It should be interesting. Um, what else? I think that's it. That's if anything else happened. Oh, God. I didn't I just say it was hold on you guys I really do need to put you down because I'm very very thirsty so anyways yeah so that's what we're doing that's the plan that's what it is we're not um we don't have a whole lot planned um it's probably going to be more spontaneous that's just the type of people we are we're just spontaneous people oh my gosh yes see I was parched dang it I was so thirsty but yeah, so this is a really good water. Do you guys drink this water? It's a really good water. I love it. I drink water mostly 90% of the time. It's just what I drink. It's just because if I'm going to have some calories, I'm going to eat them. <laughs> I don't want to drink them. So um, definitely I prefer water over juice or soda or tea or anything like that, you know. But um, yeah, that's that.
pretty much I would say I was thirsty. Wouldn't you? One gulp? Yeah, I was thirsty. Anyways, that is it. I'm going to sit here. I've got my blanket with me. You know, I always come in the hotel, bring my disinfectant wipes, wipe everything down, sanitize everything. And then I always have like a blanket, a pillowcase, something from home that I bring to put on the pillows and the bedding and stuff like that because I just don't trust hotel bedding. I've always been like this before the panorama or whatever the heck. Um, I'm just always been that girl like. I just, I always come with my own things. I have gloves in my handbag. I have bleach wipes. I've just always been that girl. So it wasn't foreign to me to, you know, keep it going and do it even more now that we're in the state of the world that we're in. So anyhow, yeah, I think this is it. Is that it? Yeah, that's the fragrance that I wore in. Those are the fragrances that I'm probably gonna play with today. Um, and, you know, just explore them and wear them and do perf uh, wear tests on them and see how they are. I don't think I have anything else going on. If you guys are liking the vlogs, make sure you give this video a huge, huge thumbs up. That way I know to do more, um, you know, just maybe once a month, maybe twice a month. I mean, who knows? Maybe, I mean, I don't know, right? We just don't know who knew that I would be doing this. But yeah, I'm having a good time with them and I haven't really been home a lot to sit down and do sit down videos. So in order to keep content on my channel, I've just been taking my camera and my work equipment with me wherever I go and just getting content and creating it like this because one thing about me, Hey, I'm gonna get the content in. I'm gonna do what it do. <laughs> okay, guys, I will see you at the next thing, probably tomorrow morning. I don't think I'm gonna pick up the camera anymore tonight. Um, I'm probably gonna go and see what I'm gonna find for dinner. I may not have anything. Um, I may, I don't know what I'm gonna do for dinner. I don't know. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know, I don't know what's around here and I don't trust Uber Eats, Z Zuber Eats. Mm. Put in my food in somebody's car and having them bring it to me, I just, mm, I'm not that girl, so I would rather eat. I might go downstairs and see if the hotel, um, what time the restaurant closes downstairs or do something like that and pick up something like that. But yeah, I'm not a big fan. Let me know, are you like that? I don't, I don't like having my food in somebody's car and then they bring it to me. What if they, I mean, everybody keeps their car really different. I keep my car immaculate. My car is very clean. Before, you know, 2020, I used to get a car wash every week. Every Friday, it symbolized the weekend. I get a car wash, air freshener, arm raw on my tires, wax her up, shine her, make her look good. Okay, and then we were ready for the weekend. That's how I grew up. That's how I was brought up. You know, you would get your stuff ready for the weekend and you know, get your outfit, your clothes, your accessories, your jewelry. My mom still does that to this day, especially on Saturday night. She's like, I've got my clothes ready for church. She'll have her hat, her, her outfit, her heels, the bag, the bag matches the shoes, it all ties together. You know what I mean? So I was just raised like you put some effort in when you're going out to look presentable. And then about your car, your home, everything. If you came up like that, hit the like button you know Saturday mornings you clean your house you know you deep clean it you know you wash the bedding you do everything like that I don't see a lot of that today um, but yeah I'm still that I was raised like that so that's what I do Saturdays we deep clean the house I make a nice breakfast and you know Sundays we church we brunch we have a good time we debrief and then Monday we hit the grind unless we're on vacation and that's life. That's how you put the work in so that you can, you know, do what you want to do. I always tell people I do what I have to do so at the end of the day I can do what I want to do. You can keep that. Okay, you guys, seriously, I'm leaving now. Smooches. Until next time, I'll see you soon, Dwellings. Bye. I ended up staying in, you guys. I did not go out to eat. I ordered a salad and pizza. <laughs> And I've got my candle going. I am going to hit in the shower after this. And then I am going to go to bed because I'm actually tired for once. Not that I'm going to sleep, but I am going to try and go to sleep. And then have to get up early in the morning. And I have some editing to do. So I am going to end this part of the vlog here. And I will see you guys manana. This salad is really good. I'm only trying to have just one slice of the pizza. Okay, I'm trying to be good, and I'm just eating this green leafy salad. Um, the dressing is like a, I don't know what kind of dressing it is. It's low fat or low calorie, but you know, I'm the type of person that just dips a little bit like this, just a little on my fork, and then I wanna eat the salad. Like, I don't like putting the dressing all over the salad. It, it doesn't distribute evenly. I need each bite to have a little bit of dressing on it. So, and then I eat less dressing that way. Okay, seriously, good night, guys. Good morning, beautiful people. I am down for breakfast. I'm not gonna remove my mask until I actually receive my food, but I did come down to get some breakfast. 
and I'm gonna get some work done, answer some emails. And why is my phone on? Oh my God, it's already on a video. I definitely had to come down because I wanted some coffee. So um, they're gonna bring me some coffee and I simply cannot wait, you guys. You know I love coffee. So start the morning with some coffee and maybe an omelet and everything like that. Thank you. Oh my gosh, coffee makes me so happy. <laughs> Here you go. Can they come back in a minute? Yeah, sure. Thank okay. you. I'm not the type of person that can drink their coffee black. Some days I can, but most days I need to put a little cream or Splenda or sugar or something. So, this is what it's going to be. I'm going to get my coffee all together, find out what I'm going to order, and then um, get this day going. So, I will be back. Dueling. Trying out a new fragrance, you guys, from Louis Vuitton. It's called Spill on You. And so far, it's horrible. It's way too sweet. I mean, it's just sweet, 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 sweet. I don't know. Maybe that's the new thing right now, sweet fragrances. But it's not a, it's a no for me. Let me see. Yeah, it's this one here. I have this sample because I went to Louis Vuitton and I just wanted to try out some of their new fragrances. And this one here is just absolutely a no. I'm trying to find a good lighting, but this one just washes me out. But this is it here. I use half the entire sample. I told you guys, whenever you're sampling a fragrance, use it so you know. So I'm going to wear it out today as my fragrance of the day and just see how it dries down, how it performs. But um, I would not buy this probably. I mean, never say never. But um, yeah, it's really, really, really sweet. The color of the juice is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a pinkish. If I can get a picture, I'll get it and I'll pop it up. We're heading out to do some light shopping and then we're going to go to dinner. And I'll keep you informed on this fragrance. And then if I get back in time, I have a ton of fragrances that I brought with me. We'll go through them and play with them and just see my first impression. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye. You guys, this bag right here, I think I love it. It's super cute, very different. Um, I don't know though, I don't know, but it really is super cute. Let me show you another one. Another really popular, popular one is this one here. Oh, we keep seeing this everywhere. And you guys, this one here, another super, super cute bag. Very different, I don't really know, I don't know, but it's, it's different. What has your response been on this one? On the bigger uh, one? Love it. So they the, love it, huh? So the one thing is on the large size. Um, it comes equipped to um, travel. Like it has a travel to it, but it doesn't come with one, whereas the medium size comes with it. It comes with it. Got it. No, I don't do outside like this, but this is what it's looking like. This is downtown Seattle, and there's tons of birds everywhere. Oh my gosh, but um, I'm trying to go and see the first Starbucks. You know how much I love coffee, so I definitely want to get a look at the Starbucks. I may even grab myself a coffee. Who knows, guys? But this is what it's giving. They have beautiful, fresh flowers everywhere. It's Pike Place. We got roasted corn. Oh my God, I used to love those corns. I'm not getting one today though. I totally grew up on those corns, you guys. There is nothing like them, but not today. You guys, they have beautiful hand-picked flowers and they'll help you arrange them and everything. Super cute. You guys, 
this is the first Starbucks ever in Seattle. Oh my gosh, I am super excited. If you know how much I love coffee, you know I'm going over there to get me a coffee. My guy is already standing in line for us because the line is unreal, okay? But she's definitely gotta have a tall, skinny, extra hot, 2%, two Splenda, non-bat latte. I'm excited! I love coffee. Place my order. Okay, you guys, I am back. I did pick up some things. Oh, the echo is going to be horrible in here. Sorry. Sorry, um, I have to update my makeup, you guys, because this eyelash is playing me. It's trying to come off again. So hold on a second, I gotta find my tweezers to, to hurry up and put it back down and secure the eyelash before dinner. You can't be at, at, at dinner with the eyelashes off going crazy. Okay, it's just not it. Securing the perimeter. We talked about that in the last vlog. Um, hold on a second. Oh my gosh, you know why? Because it was so hot. Oh, I don't have time to take these off and put them back on. Ugh. Anyways, so tonight I was thinking about wearing Bulgari. Have you seen this one before? I was thinking about wearing this. Let's just do a quick, what does it smell like? You guys, I'm going to, what's the restaurant called? Ascend. Ascend. I don't know where it is. We're in Seattle. But um, I've never been, but I've heard a lot of amazing things about it. Amazing things about it. But I don't know. Mm. Why does it smell like Chanel Chance? The Utandra. Mm, not really the vibe. This is Bulgari um, Allegora, and I could be making that up. You know I probably am. Okay. Um, it's a floral, sweet. It smells, in my opinion, just off first impression, like Chanel, the pink one, Utandra. Not the EDT, the EDP. It's really sweet. It's not my vibe. I'm trying to be sexy, okay? We're not trying to be sweet. <laughs> not tonight. Okay, let's keep going. I told you about Spill on You, the new one by Louis Vuitton. I wore it out. Um, it was really, really sweet, very, very floral. Not my zhush, um, or my vibe. But it was okay. Um would I recommend it? Absolutely not. I'm gonna be honest. It's it's not my my zhush. Okay, let's keep going. I have another one from Louis Vuitton because Wyatt, hey Wyatt, shout out to you. He gave me a, a bunch of samples. Now this is a new one coming out and I did see this in store. And I believe it's called, if I'm not making it up, Imagination. You guys, I just have these little samples like this. This one is called Imagination. Now see, I love when the juice is this color sometime. Cause that tells me it's gonna be a clean, not too sweet. I don't know, I just feel that way. That may not be the case. Then come back to my face, I need you to focus. Let's see. Oh shoot, why did I spray it on me? Oh, babe, I think this might be for you. Huh? This might be for you. What? Oh, yeah. It's very, uh, what in the world? Never mind, never mind. I'm just saying, I don't want you to smell like this, so never mind. I'm going to do the, a hard pass on that. Off initial first impression, no. I mean, it's nice, it's very fresh. Oh, God, but I got to wash my hands. Ah. You know, you don't want it to sit on you. That's not how I want to smell tonight. And actually that smells very masculine. It might be, you know, more geared towards men. I don't know. But to me, it smelled very much like a masculine fragrance. Just a lot. It was a very bright opening. You know what I mean? So uh, we're going to pass on that. Uh, that will be a no. Is my wedding ring on the bed? Because I don't see it on me. Oh, that might be a problem. I took it off to wash my hands. Oh, flower bomb. You know, she loves flower bomb. Should I dare to sing the song, you guys? Here is flower bomb. Victor and Roth. This is midnight. Victor and Roth flower bomb midnight. I don't know if I 
sprayed this before. Ooh, if it's sexy, I'm gonna love it. Let's see. Let's spray it on the card, on the paper actually. Ooh, this part will be good. Oh my gosh, that's really sweet. It's really sweet. It's kind of tangerine-y, kind of citrusy in the beginning. I don't have any notes, I have nothing. Okay, this is just like a first impression fragrances that I bring with me on vacation. If anything warrants like a beautiful, like, oh my gosh, I think you guys have got to know about it. What I will start doing is coming back, doing a more in-depth review with the notes and everything like that. Longevity, performance, everything like that. But I just have, I have so many samples. And I said, this is a great way to put them to use. Um, it's okay. It's not really... It's not given what I want tonight to give. Uh, would I recommend it? Off first impression, off initial spray, it's a no for me. But it is good. It smells very, very familiar though. But it doesn't smell like flower bomb. I don't know. Midnight EDP parfum. Um, it's a no for me. I move on. Oh, okay, 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 wait. I might be excited about this because this is a Chanel fragrance. Oh, I've smelled this before, I believe. I can't recall. This is Chanel Riviera. I'm supposed to be getting dressed, freshening up my makeup and whatnot. Yeah, I like this, yeah. This one is really good. I have this before, you guys, it looks like this. It is Chanel Paris Riviera. Um, there was three of them in this line and they're all really good. I probably need to add them to my collection. Yeah, this is good. I might wear this. This is a this is a candidate. Um, yeah, yeah. That is a maybe. That's a maybe because I like it. It's fresh. It's clean. It's a little bit of sexy, but more on a more tart note, not really sweet. And this is another one from that same line. This is Paris Venice, and that one looks like this here. I'm putting the names up just so that you see them, just in case. And I believe I have tried this one before too. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I have this lotion. I have this body cream. Okay, that's not giving me sexy though. And I'm trying to be sexy tonight, you guys. Okay, when is she not? But seriously, I don't know. This is giving me, let's go to work, the office vibe, Sunday church, brunch, ha ha ha, kiki, la la, shopping. You know what, the girls. It's giving me like a date night esque kind of vibe with my guy. Absolutely not. Let's try. Oh my God, you guys, I only have two more. Oh my gosh, I only have like two more. I only have actually one more. Okay, Mon Perry Couture. This should be sexy, right? Let's check. Let's see. Ooh, the bottle looks like this, just in case. I still have my birthday now, and we're still in August. I'm still celebrating all month long. Did I mention I celebrate my birthday all month long? <laughs> I know you guys are like, girl, we're over it. Don't be over it when your birthday comes if you want to celebrate all month long. This is good. But this kind of smells like candy. See, but this, okay, I can make this work. It's sexy. Okay, let's see. Oh yes, it's sweet, it's like cotton candy. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, couture, Mon Paris. Remember I told you I've been obsessed with Mon Paris. The original one, I believe. Now this is YSL Mon Paris uh, Couture and I like this. Mmm, this might be the way to go. It's a pretty girl sexy. It's a pretty girl sexy. It's not a bossy, commanding, seductive, a little seductive, but not more than anything, a pretty girl sexy, laugh at his jokes. He's kind of, you tell him he's kind of coy, coy for a boy. You know what I mean? It's one of those, you guys, I don't know. Don't ask me how I get all these from fragrances, all those stories, but I do. All right, and here's the one I wanted to try. I almost dropped the whole camera, I'm sorry. Here's the one I wanted to try in the last video, but I didn't have a chance when we were in Vegas, remember? I showed you guys this and said I wanted to try this. I believe I've tried this before, but I can't recall. So let's try it again. The fragrance of a woman who shaped their own femininity. Ooh, okay. It has two rolls in it. It's a modern fragrance. It's supposed to be provocative, but brilliant and yet elegant. I'll be the judge of that. This is what it looks like. Okay, let's go in. Should I spray it on myself? Oh, should I take a risk? Yes, let's do it. I can always wash my hands. Cause I really like to see how it's gonna be on me. Oh. This is a bit warm for tonight. 
it's a bit warm and it's a bit too serious it's a bit too pulled together um but in a uh, i don't like to age define fragrance but in more of a mature kind of way i'm not trying to be this girl tonight if i'm if i'm going to be out i'm going to be playful and have fun and be on a date and you know bounce in and out of the cars catching the ubers going through the nightlife hanging out with my guy i don't want to be this girl she's got to get up early and go to work in the morning uh -uh, i don't want to be her i want to be her she's sleeping in she's probably going to order room service she took the week off. She's still checking the messages though. Somebody's still answering the DMs and what have you and whatnot. Yeah, I'm being this girl. Okay, so you guys, so the two were uh, the Riviera, which I said no, um, but it is good, it is good, but I said no. And then it was, I don't know how to pronounce this. I think it's Munity by Mason Margiela. Um, that's a no, it's too mature, but it is good. I would never want this in my collection though, in all honesty. Yep, and I have to wash that off. It's nice, it's not my vibe. That's not my choice. So tonight I am going with Mon Perry. Ah! Oh my gosh, yeah, this is good. I have two of these samples over there. Oh my god, I almost lost it. So we're going with this. Um, and then for my guy, I think because I bought samples for him too, I think he's gonna go with this because I've heard so much about it. It's this one, it's by Dior for all the guys watching. Okay, women, if you like it, rock it too. Do you? So this is what this one looks like here, and I think I'm gonna have my guy wear this. I've heard nothing but great things. Let me go in and be the judge. Oh my gosh, and I need to go get a quick sit down in or something to drink some water because I um come on things spray because my eyes are red. Oh yes. Are you wearing a, a suit jacket? Yeah. And a collar shirt and some jeans? <laughs> Let a big face watch. <laughs> Those are the vibes over here. Stop it, Sean. I am still talking to my friend on YouTube. I can tell your friend I kiss your face. Don't, don't. You guys don't listen to him. Please don't listen to him. Yes, I found your cologne for tonight. It's uber, uber sexy. I'm just saying that. This is good. I don't know any of the notes. This is Dior Homme. Um, and this is the EDT, the Toilette. The, yes, and what does it say? Does it give me any of the notes in here? Oh, a heart of tender woods, okay. It has some cedar, it embraces and envelops. See, I told you it was warm. Warmth of cashmere and woods, a fragrance with a bold scent that leaves a sexy scent trail. Oh, I told you it was sexy. See, I know what I know. I know what I know. I get very excited because I know what I like. Doesn't take a lot for me to know. I can put it up and be like, mm, no, yes. Ooh. But you remember that Fenty though, right? It still got me shook and a bit perplexed, but I'm still playing with it. And that night that I did wear, I received one compliment. I went in to greet someone and gave them a hug and they were like, oh my gosh, you smell really good. I said, oh, so you smelled it. And she was like, yeah, it smells really good. So I was like, oh, okay. And that was the only compliment I received all night. And I was kind of, you know, and not too close of a proximity, but I was sitting amongst people, friends, family, you know. So what have you, one compliment. I move on. You guys, I have to go because I really do have to start getting ready. Too much shimmer is just not a good thing. And I know that I like to go in with the shimmer. Oh God, I gotta go in and secure that eyelash because it's not gonna work. This is my Charlotte Tilbury um, one, two, three highlighting palette. It's a palette. I think I got it off the website when I ordered something. I think it came for free. I can't remember you guys to be completely honest with you, but I don't think I bought it. I think it came for free. I'm just gonna go in and just Splash this up a little bit, just give it a little bit of color. I might put a wing liner on, I'm not really sure yet. I did go in, you guys are so awesome. Remember in the last vlog you were telling me to um, do a uh, wet the liner whenever it gets dried out or old or what have you, and I did that, and guess what, it worked like a charm. So shout out to all of you who recommended that I did that. Quite a few of you said that. I recall at least 10 to 12 people saying it, so it's a good amount of people who knew that and um, I didn't. Where have I been my whole life? You guys only wear makeup on the weekend. You know, it's not like I wear it in my everyday real life. I just wear it uh, on the weekend because in my real life, I'm not going anywhere where you need to wear makeup. I mean, sometimes, like today I am, but normally, you know, I'm at the house. I'm not a house, a homebody at all. I love to go out, but you know, with everything that's going on, you don't really go out unless you really have to, or unless, you know, it's your birthday. I think I need to block my face a little bit. I need this mirror to be close to me because I can't see it. 
I don't have any eyeliner. I forgot. It's, it doesn't even make sense to put the mask on. I mean, to put makeup on below your eyes because the mask is on and I'm doubling up. I brought a ton of masks and they're everywhere, so it's really good. I'm gonna take some Laura Mercier and just put it just around here, just to, you know, try and cut down the makeup transfer a little bit and to keep this in. This is where I keep breaking out, to be honest with you. Have you seen some of my videos? Oh my God, it's horrible. The breakout is horrible. But like I said, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So yeah, and I need to go get some water and relax a little bit. That's not gonna do very much, but it's okay. And I need to take this glue and put these eyelashes on because right now it's, it's just, gosh. Eyelashes, why can't you stay on? Hold on a second, this is glue. Oh, this is the same glue that I shared with you guys in the last video. Quick tip, all you wanna do is go up to the bottom and just put it right there. Not a lot, just a tad bit. Now let it like to get tacky. Is that what it's called, tacky or sticky? I think it's called tacky, right, tacky? I don't know, that's normally how people uh, refer to people as dressing tacky and then just go in and use your fingers if you can at first but don't stick it too much because you'll end up pulling it off and this is just what you want to do when the corners lift up a little bit you know what I mean just when the corners lift up a little bit oh I can't talk and do that at the same time now that that has happened it is back on once you know that it's dry you guys if you do this when it's wet you're only going to aggravate it and end up pulling it up so make sure you wait until it's completely dry oh girl you did that oh because i'd be fighting with the eyelashes a lot um if there's an eyelash place listening can you send me some lashes please I love lashes though, you guys. And I don't want the kind that you can go get done. I don't want those. Because I don't want to have a lash on all the time. When I see lashes, I think it's time to go out and be fancy and have a good time. And if I just had lashes on on a basic Tuesday and I was doing like nothing, I would I would feel antsy. Like I, need, I should be going somewhere. I should be doing something. I should be like, hello. Excuse me, darling. Where are we going? Nowhere. It's Tuesday. Taco Tuesday in the house. And I'm not here for that with eyelashes on. So therefore, I'd rather not. Okay. Um, I'm going to spray my face. Urban Decay, out all night. I already told you I was a heavy sprayer. Oh, thank gosh. I'm just gonna look like this. You know what I mean? I can't do the most. And then I will pop a few curls and put my dress back on and go drink some water. And this is it. Perhaps, you guys, I'm really here with you. Okay, I had to look away because I had to do that. Perhaps I could put, oh, you know, goodness well, you cannot do this. Perhaps I could put mascara on the bottom lashes. And that might do a little bit. I did put a little bit of a, oh, see? Oh, this is not working. I've never been, I mean, I could talk and chew gum, but I cannot do makeup and talk at the same time. Not this kind of stuff, stuff that you have to focus. You know what I mean? Like the bottom last year, what I'll do is, I can't stand that face, so I'm trying not to do it. I don't even know I'm holding this mirror because I'm not even looking in it or using it, but it's giving my hand something to do because I'm focusing on holding this and not. Oh, okay, that's better. They gave it a little bit of depth, a little bit of something. And then I'll just see if I have a black um, matte powder in there. And I'll put that on the water line. Okay, that did a little bit of something. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, that's it. I'm not putting any more highlighter on. She was highlighting to the walls. And it was enough already. So, okay, wash. Mmm, Munity. Okay. It made a comeback. Not too shabby. Oh, but this is still sexy. Mm -hmm. This is what we're going with tonight. It was a toss up winner. Okay guys, I will see you. If I don't take you to dinner, it's because I couldn't or the camera died or something. If not, I will see you at dinner and then I'll see you tomorrow or tonight. I don't know. Smooches until next time. Dually. This is better how it looks. Oh. <laughs> oh.
oh okay excuse you you guys i would show you what i'm wearing it doesn't even make any sense because i've already worn it before i'm wearing you guessed it yes girl guy you guessed it a white dress mm -hmm. a white dress my camellia all august i'm just saying but i did wear that one green dress are you on the phone are you no okay um, I'm just you I just, your green dress. Did you love that green dress, right? Yeah, I did. It was so cute. Okay, anyways, okay. bye. You guys, before we leave, I thought I let my guy smell both the fragrances that I was debating between, and I want to see which one he chooses. That way, I said this one was more sweet, right? And I said that this one was more, more mature. She's going to work. This girl's going to have a good time. I'm going to see which one he says. He doesn't know which one is on which arm. It's had a, or, um, what is this called? What is this called? My wrist? <laughs> what is this called? My, my hand. My hand. Yeah, baby, what is this called? Your ring is that. That's what you call your hand. My hand. And the other part, after you leave your hand, that part's called your wrist. <laughs> well, anatomy for so Okay, stop. 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 Anyways, you guys, I'm going to have... <laughs> you are making me so embarrassed. You, I'm going to have him <laughs> smell <laughs> each hand <laughs> and see which one he likes. Okay, here we go. Okay, come on. Smell this one first. Mm, that's sweet. That smells good. You think this smells good? I do. Let me see the other hand. Okay. Take a, take a nose break. You got some coffee beans? I don't. You what do you think this coffee. is? I'm not going to open my... Oh, just, please. I don't like that one. Are you kidding me? It smells like a man. It doesn't. Oh, wait, wait. It does. Oh, my gosh. Oh! Wait a minute. You hit him backwards, didn't you? Wait a minute. I don't you know. You know which one you sprayed on which wrist? I don't, I don't Do know. Do you know what the wrist is? Just don't. No, no, no. Seriously. Wait, I have that to go back right to. There, how was I standing in the bathroom? On the, in, the ba in the restroom, I sprayed this one. I, the I think. Yeah. I See go. which one you like. I yeah. think you're going for the one that I did not like. That I didn't love. That I said she's going to work in the morning. That's that one. Let me see. Let me see, let me see that one. Okay. You're about to start me a YouTube channel. No, Sean, there's no need for you to start a channel. <clears throat> see? This one makes me feel sexy. I told you! <laughs> no, 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 okay, tell me that you don't play with me. This one's good, good. No, don't, forget it, you guys. He don't know how to act, okay? You can't be me. There's only one me. This, this one's good, good. No, t Sean, can you? You know, this makes me think I'm on a yacht. I'm not even going there with you. No, that's one better. That one's better. I like that one. Better. Which one is better? Uh, this one? Yeah. I don't really like this one. This one smells like a lady. No, it does. Oh my god, you guys. So this is the one that he said he didn't like. And this is the one that I like. So see how everybody is different? Mon Perry, he's don't say an old lady. Don't define fragrances by ages. Just don't do it. Um, Anyways, a mature woman. Okay, that's still the same. <laughs> Whatever. He's is, don't don't don't. Just hold that thought. And then this one is the one that he's saying he likes. Mutiny. So which one do you want me? What is it called? Mutiny. Mutiny. Oh, I was calling it mutiny. Mutiny. Oh, baby, slow down. Like mutants. Mut no, 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 mutiny. No, 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 not mutiny. <laughs> mutiny. I know that mutiny. Okay. So you want me to wear mutiny? Yes, yeah, good, good. I don't care. I'm not wearing it. I'm wearing Mon Paris. What? Um, couture. Well, then what was the point of this doing this? I just wanted to see what he thought, and that's what he thought. And I would love to know what you guys think. If you have Mon Perry or Mutiny, let me know which one you like. Or let me know if you like both. Or let me know if you never heard of them. I don't know. Just let me know. Oh, oh, oh. And other, did it, did it, before you leave, if you have not hit a button yet, okay, and you enjoy the vibe, the content over here, fragrance, all things fancy and fabulous dueling, go ahead and smash that little go ahead and smash that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell it will alert you every single time i post a video over here on youtube and don't forget to come over and connect on instagram okay seriously this time now bye guys
You guys, I'm so sorry. I was supposed to show you the food, but it was so good that I had just started eating and forgot to show you guys. Look at this. And of course, if you're not following me on Instagram, you're missing it, okay? But if you are, Very, very, very nice. The Skyfall. The Skyfall. It falls right into the halo. Okay. So the, the Skyfall on top is going to be our panna cotta. It's paired up with blackberries, blueberries, beer, macarons. On top of each one of the discs, you have crumbled macaron. And all around, you have edible flowers and marigolds. Very cool. And underneath is the miso and chocolate caramel. Oh my gosh. Wow. Now so that falls right into what. Uh, it's kind of a staff favorite here, our Halo. It's coconut ice cream, coconut snow. But underneath, it's a passion fruit caramel. That's really where the magic is. So take okay. the Twi'el, which is a vanilla cookie on top, crack it a little, fall in, okay. and enjoy that with the ice cream, as well as the mango and the passion fruit pastry cream on the side. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Happy thank anniversary. You. Thank Happy you. Happy birthday. I'll see you for a second one in just a moment. Thank you. Thank you. I love this bag for traveling. It gets so much hate. Who cares though? But it's perfect for traveling. I throw everything in it and it just never, I've had it for what? About seven, eight years? I don't know to be honest, but I'm about to pack all this stuff up in the bag. I'm cleaning out my bag. If you're wondering, girl, how do we get here? Who else carries a plethora of samples in your bag? You never know when you're going to need to smell good. You guys ask me about Bond Line all the time. I'm going to do these the next time we're on a trip. I'm going to do all the Bond Lines and test them out. Pearl wipes. Of course, mask. $2. Okay? Jewelry. Um, purse hangers. I forget what this is called. What is this called again? Oh, the mini pochette. It is packed. Everything's in here. Oh, my God, girl. Can you do this with one hand? Everything's in there. Chanel mirror, extra wipe, Charlotte Tilbury, um, you know. And then in here, this is what I'll take if we go out like at night or something, or I'll take this one. I told you I don't like traveling with bags. My key holder, my whatever that is, um, battery pack, camera goes in here, and all of this stuff you guys fit in my bag. Okay, so this bag can pack a lot. And my water bottle. Let's not forget about my water bottle. And a few other things that I have to put inside of this bag. So, if you're thinking about it, for the price, for the value, well, I don't know. It probably went up by now. I bought it, like I said, about 10 years ago. I can't recall. But you can probably find it on the pre-love market and get it out of steel. But for me, it's the best bag for traveling. I absolutely love it. Now, here's what I will say. I'm going to just be honest. Everybody in the whole entire airport is probably going to have the same bag. Everybody traveling has the same bag. Yes, everybody has it. You already know how I feel about that. Mm -hmm.